Hi guys, and welcome to another one of, my, one of my videos. I'm doing a picture of a basset hound today. His name is Fred, but you don't have to name him that. I just made a book called Friend Fiona. And if you want to make a cat, um, Fiona, here's just, um, I'll pause the video for a few seconds, just so, yeah, if you want to see her. Hi guys, and this is how you start. To start, you want to make a small circle and about wherever you want him. About that size, um, it differs about how far away he is. And next, you want to make a slightly bigger circle, just bigger than this. And that's how you basically make his eyes. Well, his, yeah. And anyways, to make his eyebrows, um, the eyebrows just shows emotion. My favorite emotion is just a twirl like that and a little lump like that. That'll give you the simple eyebrow. And to make his eyes, you want them facing off in two directions. One here, usually, and one here. Anyways, so to do that, you make it, you make about half oval, then you make another half oval, and you cover the first one in. That's his first eye. And his second eye, you just do it in a different way. Like that, basically. It doesn't matter if they don't look exactly the same. It actually helps sometimes, when, if it doesn't. So next, let's make the ear. And the ear is about halfway on the smaller circle. You're going to kind of slant down like that. Make another one that goes off like that. And you want to make a little curve. And it's okay if you mess up as long as you do short, small strokes. It, this will be easy if you just accidentally mess up on your drawing. So it kind of looks like a foot, but that's okay. He's a bit chubby, so he needs a big ear. And so next, what you're going to do is make a, the tiniest little curve right about here. And next, after that, we're going to make his nose. And his nose, you want to make that a bit bigger. And then this... I love the nose. It's just so big, and it, I don't know why. It just helps it look like it's real. Oh, sorry if you can hear my cat in the background, but it's fine. So that's the nose. You make a kind of like curve, curvy line right here, and then two more, and that's how you make his nose. You can color it in if you want to. I just decided not to. Um, I don't know why, just my taste, I guess. And to make his freckles, just make a bunch of tiny little dots by on the side of his nose. Oh, and you can face him the other way, it's just, yeah, I'm a left hand, and this is easy for me. And so what you want to do next is we're going to finish off his face, make kind of like another curve, but going out like this. Then you want to make it go like this. Kind of like a curve, kind of like the nose. And then, you won't connect this to the nose. You connect it like that. Wait, I messed up. You want to do that. And you don't have to add this. I just like to do this because my dog Fred pants a lot. So, you go, you're going to add tongue like this, like he's really tired, he's really confused, and just wants a cheeseburger, he wants to steal it off the counter. You do that, exactly like that, well, pretty much exactly. And now we're going to cut off this piece right here that's close to the ear, and we're going to make his first foot. And his foot just goes above like that, you're going to connect it like that. 
And I might have made this a bit. There we go. And the foot is kind of just kind of like a funky triangle. And then you're gonna go over like that, like you would with any kind of cartoony foot. And that's his head completely finished. Let's move on to the next part. Okay guys, next on to the body. And where you want to start his chubby little body is right here at about the corner, right before you meet the eye and the ear. So you're going to do that and it's kind of like he's a big meatloaf. A funky meatloaf. And then you're going to curve around like you're kind of like making an oval, but you're not finishing it off. And we're going to mess with this in a bit. So then, what you do next, and he always he doesn't usually have to be this big. You can adjust it to where he can be smaller, like this. Or he can be that big. And then next, you can make the tail, which curves off just like that, just like any other normal dog tail. But don't want to make it too big, because remember, he's a basset hound, he's not very big. And about that length, you want to make it a bit, you know, chubby, because he's a chubby dog. And let's do this. That and then that. Now let's make it a bit bigger. Just about that leg. That looks like it's good. And then you're just going to add a little squiggly like that. Just up and down and up and down. And then, so what you want to do next, his spots. So you're going to start just above the tail, about here, and then you're going to go down, and then all the way to the other side. Next, you're going to do a spot about here. That looks good. And you don't have to do these spots, just I like to do spots. And I figured that these were good places for them. So next, we're moving on to the final part, his other feet. And his feet are kind of like you're making an oval, but you stop. And you're going to erase this part. That's one foot finished. And of course, you're going to add the little dot right there, kind of. Not really a dot, but... And then you're going to add... Well, I guess that's it. Just finish that up. And this is kind of what your friend should look like. You could shorten the tongue and everything. You can just make him do anything. Stand, sit, beg, roll over. Whatever you want with him. So, but so that's the video, guys. Hope you liked it. I hope this helped out with how to make a basset hound if you ever wanted to make your own little books. And I just hope this helped. And please leave a like and subscribe. And goodbye.